good morning how are you all doing welcome to monday and another daily chat had a bit of an interesting weekend don't we yeah uh saturday we had a trip down to uh kensington caravans at uh kim sorry kimberley caravans at uh, darlington we we're going down to get some gas fittings uh, we've, we've got a longer hose for the Kadak because when we go away this week we're taking the sun canopy rather than the awning so we, we're going to have the Kadak in a different position to where we normally have it so we needed a longer hose for that a bit of a look round the caravans and motorhomes and shocked is a, a bit of an understatement price of them yeah definitely I've no idea where prices are going with caravans. They just seem to be astronomical at the moment. And the level of stock is nothing, isn't it? Haven't got much in. Very little in stock at all, uh, which which is just... Considering, you know, it's... At, I know things have been, you know, progressively getting worse, but when you look at the numbers that dealers like that normally have in and what they've actually got in and available for sale, uh, it's just absolutely nothing at all. But they were they were saying there they're expecting their sort of dealer specials in round about the October time for 2022. Um, so you know you never know where that's going to go. He, he was talking about Swift. He said because uh, there are there are Swift and Compass Explore dealer, aren't they? Uh, and he was saying that Swift would were saying that they'd got caravans there but they couldn't get hold of windows and Mark at the caravan place had said he couldn't get hold of spares for door handles so it's, it just seems that this this thing about getting bits for caravans and spares particularly are uh, just not not very good at the moment so that was an interesting day out wasn't it yeah interesting night last night as well yeah yesterday we decided we'd start looking uh, for holidays for next year we'd already booked one for Easter. Easter and our main holidays which are really th three aren't they a year yeah. uh, where we go away for a week or longer is predominantly well definitely on adult only sites and fully serviced, isn't it? Yeah. So we started yesterday to have a look round with the areas we wanted to go. And we really wanted to either go back to Wales, but we're gonna kind of just have a look and see how this trip goes over to Abbasock later this week. And also to maybe Devon or Cornwall. But we know Devon and Cornwall this year have been absolutely chocker going by the the videos and also that the the weather's not been too brilliant. So we'd, we still thought we'll look at Devon and Cornwall and Wales as, as predominantly places we wanted to go for our main holiday, our two week holiday. And like I said, we've got these, these other trips of uh, a week or so one in Derbyshire and we've actually booked the other one for over on the Lincolnshire coast uh, but what we were finding was especially with Devon and Cornwall was that the adult only sites booked. zero availability for next August bank holiday so you know we're, we're talking a year away and, and some sites are already <coughs> fully booked which <coughs> is just it's unheard of, isn't it? Yeah. You know, we would expect that there would be maybe limited availability on certain type of pitches, and especially since we're looking for fully serviced, uh, we we were expecting that you know would there would be limited availability on some sites. But to find, uh, we looked on seven or eight sites, and we actually found two that weren't fully booked. So we have, we have booked one of those sites in Devon, but that's just it's just crazy, isn't it? Definitely. It's going to be different, but we 
specifically wanted adult only sites uh, for uh, for our main holiday so that there's just a little bit of information from the uh, from sort of the research we've been doing about traveling around the country um, we'll see how things go when we start looking for our sort of four, four or five day long weekend <coughs> and, which we won't start doing till we probably get our next year's leave allocation from work uh, but hopefully uh, things won't get any worse than they already are because we, we, we always booked our holidays that our main holidays sort of yeah around about Christmas time wasn't it always would book going away in March sort of October time and then as soon as it got after Christmas would book something in for July August and something for October time September October time um, but we think this time it's going to be uh, we're going to have to get one literally get one holiday allocation start and start looking at the start looking at the calendar so that's it for today a little bit of information first of all about caravans and then about um, the availability of sites as we were finding it so t till tomorrow you take care stay safe and we'll see you later bye, -bye. Ta da